welcome to worship. Uh, we are live streaming this morning at St. James Episcopal Church in SUNY Alice, New York. I want to welcome uh, particularly those who are worshiping online and to let you know that today we have a real treat in store for you. Courtney McKeon, who is one of the licensed lay preachers in this diocese, is our preacher this morning. And each, so I've had the privilege of hearing her twice already today. And both times I thought that that is just exactly what I needed to hear. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing it again. And I know that you will also be blessed. There is a bulletin for this liturgy for those who are online that you can find on St. James' website at stjamesscan.org. And as always, those online, please do let us know who you are and where you are and feel free to post your comments and your prayer requests and greet one another. For those here in the nave, I invite you to stand and let us begin our worship this morning in song. Creatures of our God and King, lift up your voices with us sing. Oh, praise Him, Hallelujah! Bright burning sun with golden beams, pale silver moon that gently gleams. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him, Hallelujah! that create a bless and worship him in humbleness oh praise him hallelujah praise god the father praise the son Lord, today help us to be present here, whatever else may be going on in our lives outside these doors. Help us to be here now and listen to today's message and allow that to seep into our hearts. Spirit deep within 
you're faithful You cover all my sins with forgiveness My eyes have seen your ways, your goodness Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call for us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, our Savior who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Canticle, the Song of Waiting. The thought of my trouble and my homelessness is, a bitter, is, bitter, is as bitter as wormwood and gall. My mind dwells on it continually. My soul is weighed down within me. When I remember this, I have hope. By God's kindness, we are not destroyed. For God's mercies are never ending and are new every morning. How great is your faithfulness, O God. You are my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in you. You are good to those who wait with patience, to every soul that seeks you. It is good to wait, even in silence, for the salvation of the Lord.
my guide, hold me to your side, and I will love you to the end. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your slave who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here at once and take your place at the table? Would you not rather say to him, prepare supper for me, put on your apron and serve me while I eat and drink? Later, you may eat and drink. Do you thank the slave for doing what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were ordered to do, say, We are worthless slaves. We have done only what we ought to have done. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. That there is a program that um, is actually going on right now, training people to be lay preachers, and um, which means that how this works is that uh, typically in the Episcopal Church, we identify gifts in others. We see them and call them out and invite them to use them. And so what we understand is that God doesn't give the gift of preaching just to those who are ordained. And so we look and listen for the gifts in others in the congregation and call them out and invite them to participate in this program. And uh, Courtney McKeon is one of those who has been trained and generously shares her gift of opening God's word to us. And I know that you will hear something that you need to hear this morning through um, through her words and through the working of the Holy Spirit. So Courtney, welcome. <laughs> 